Well, you say, how can I know that he's going to deliver? How can I trust him? Because that's a lot. That's a big promise. How can I know that I can keep on going with him? How do I know he's going to be faithful to keep this promise and grant this life that he's promised to me that because he's the light of the world? Now, if we look at verse 20, we get it alluded to how we can know and how we can hold on and know that this promise is true. Thank you so much. Verse 20 it says, these words he spoke in the treasury, right, of the temple. And it says, as he taught in the temple, but no one arrested him. Doesn't that sound like a weird thing to say? He's just preaching and nobody arrested. I hope nobody arrests me while I'm preaching. But you never know. You know, sometimes the stuff that come out of your mouth. But, but here, no one arrested him. Because his hour had not yet come. And so there's two questions on the one hand. Why would they have wanted to arrest him because of, what does it say, these words? Why would they have wanted to arrest him with what he's saying about being the light of the world and all of those things in the temple? It's because they got what he was saying. They got that Jesus was equating himself with God. And in their mind, that's blasphemy. And actually, if it's not true, then they're exactly right. That's why they're coming after him, because they don't believe that it's true about who Jesus is. But what's the significance of that second part where he says his hour had not yet come? We've seen that before, haven't we? About all the way back in chapter 2, right? His, my, my hour has not yet come. And then there was another place in chapter 6. My hour hasn't come. 